guess my luck couldn't hold out forever. This will be the last time I see the sun for about three days. Unfortunately, I expect a pretty grey video. Anyway, so I'd retrace my steps from Cape Sata, heading north up towards Kanaya, where I'd stop for a few days in a hotel, then continuing north around the coastline, touching the tip of Sakurajima, but not stopping until I reached the beach of Kagoshima. Anyway, back to Kanaya. Kanaya's a strange place. It feels like tourism forgot that this town existed. And perhaps I'm just on the wrong side of it, but it certainly seems a bit worn out, dilapidated, and run down. To be fair, the weather wasn't doing it any favours. Looked like I'd be in and out of my jacket all day today. Took this one off the bucket list. Currently riding on an active volcano. My mama didn't raise no fool. Check the uh, the forecast map. And unfortunately, if there is an eruption and this volcano erupts sort of three to four times a day, I am right in the path of the ash. So it would pretty much just rain down on me now. A lot of sites say that the people of Kagoshima are used to this. I mean, obviously it happens on a regular basis to them. And that there's no health hazards breathing in the ash, or at least in small quantities. But I can't imagine that that's really true when you're literally on the volcano, where it would be at its densest and you're cycling, which means that you're breathing hard. So instead, I'm just gonna keep going north. I was very tempted to actually go and visit the Aruma Lava Observatory, but frankly, it's a bit of a shit day. So there wouldn't really be that much to see anyway. And there's plenty of other volcanoes in Japan. See an erupting one, thanks. That would be cool. But I'd want a motor on this bike. Uh, I'm not getting away from anybody. Shame, I found a near perfect camp spot. Toilet facilities. Flat ground. Park bench. Fairly quiet. Incredible view. Problem is, I don't have any food. I tempted to stay here regardless, but I think instead. I'll just head into town and go to the spot where I was thinking of going anyway. This day had held a melancholy beyond the muted views, and really, I just wanted to set up my camp and go to sleep, knowing that tomorrow would probably be even worse weather.
So it's raining. And it's going to rain all day and all night. And it's raining in basically every direction. So I think today I'm going to spend the day in my tent. But it's pretty light at the moment. I think it's supposed to be much lighter later as well. Um, but yeah, I really don't want to. I don't want to pack up in this, and then ride in this, and then set up again in this, and then everything will be wet. And what will I have achieved? Nothing. Um, whereas tomorrow, I think, will be like yesterday cloudy but dry so yeah good plan good plan mm -hmm. so I've just spent most of the day sat in a family mark because as you can probably see the weather today not so hot and now I'm just getting a stomp on getting back to my tent because there's a brief brief period of it being dry um, it's only about six o'clock, but to be honest, I haven't got a whole lot to do now, so probably just chuck a film on. Oh, eat food, dinner, warm up some sake. Whoa, I was assuming my bike is still here. Yes, it is. Thank God for that. So this campsite is actually uh, pretty gorgeous, and I imagine in summer packed. Um, Right now it's uh, it's what end of March, and oddly I didn't even have to pay for it. And yeah, look at that! Look how ominous that looks. I haven't really talked much about my tent. Not really sure if I want to tonight because it's already a bit damp. But my favourite thing about it has got to be the vestibule. I'm about to sit in and have dinner because this thing is huge. <coughs> and apart from the bugs, which can get annoying if they get in there with you, it's actually uh, lovely just to sit in. Might get a wet head today, though. We'll see. It's hard to explain how spacious it is in here without the first rearranging. And because it's so spacious, I have a tendency to just throw stuff in and not really care where it sits. If I give it a half minute's thought, I can pretty much fully recline in here. And because of the uh, this tension band, acts as a bit of a headrest, so I can just lean my head up against it. And I'm not touching the top, I'm close, I'm not there. And uh, yeah, put my feet up, chill out. And it just beats lying on your back. You know, there's only so long that you can sit in a tent or lie in a tent before you're just in agony and you're shifting all over the place. This just gives you another option. So in those shitty rainy days, I would highly recommend one of these camp stools, 900 grams. Can't remember how much it costs, like 50 bucks or something. And a tent with a big vestibule. Uh, so, not ideal, this thing. Um, but the, uh, sorry, just moving that a little bit. The gas stove connector that I bought in Australia unfortunately doesn't work with the default cassette things that come in Japan. You can buy the these things everywhere, but unfortunately the connectors on the end are not screwed up. So you're pretty much forced. Oh, that's gonna go. That's gonna go quick. Yow. Mm, that's good. Warming up a bit of sake. Let's go on my dinner. Doesn't take very long. 
it doesn't need to be boiled. Look at that. Steaming, smoking. That's what I'm talking about. That can sit just there. That can just stay there for a little bit. It's not raining just yet. And what we got for dinner today, boys? You might consider it cheating, but uh, the convenience stores will cook the food for you. You might buy it in store, you get everything you need. So yeah, this is my dinner tonight. Bit of warmed up sake, bit of Napolitan, Napolitan, fuck knows how that's pronounced. Bit of spaghetti. Settle in for the night. Good night, chaps. Second night in the spot. I thought I'd get a better night's sleep tonight, but I didn't. Um, no drunken singing guys this time, but um, yeah, it's a very busy campsite. It's not ideal. I kind of wish I'd stopped at the first place, but I didn't have any food, so I didn't have a choice. Um, even though there isn't really any other campers here, apart from the French couple, people just walk through here pretty much all the time. The first night I was here, woke up at 4 a.m. by a drunk guy singing, um, and at about 10 or 11, there was a family shooting fireworks off into the sea. Um, do another thing, I'm woken up by birds. Why do you make breakfast to get a move on? Join me next time as the weather and my mood improves as I climb 1200 meters to the Abino Plateau. Thanks.